I do not believe in things that take power away from me. I believe in things that make me more powerful. How can I have my own mind betray me and tell me that I can't do something? I don't give a fuck if I decide to jump off this building. If I decide I'm not going to die, I am not going to die. My own mind will not betray me. So when men say, oh, if anybody can just let's talk about um, money. One of my favorite subjects. <laughs> You become an unstoppable force when Allah is on your side. So please, my brothers and sisters, no matter what's happening in your life, pray. Don't let anyone turn you away from Allah. How does having a Bugatti and a cigar come with misogyny? Because it's all mixed together in what you teach. The things I teach men are stoicism, discipline, self-respect, hard work, obeying authority, listening to your fight coach, working hard in school, making as much money as possible. If you actually watch the things I say, if you actually watch my comments about women, I've done long podcasts for hours long about females talking about protecting them, providing them, how I believe women should be treated in a relationship. I've done all of this, but you don't watch any of it, and then you come here and ask me to answer questions I've answered at length thousands of times. Just because I believe men have a point of view and men have rights and men are allowed to think and believe and, and act a certain way that helps them internally, that doesn't mean it's anti-female. In fact, I believe it's actually pro-female. I think when a man is true to his influence and true to his essence and he's good with He's a positive influence in the world. He's positive for the women around him. So Just because I discuss men's women. issues, people say, oh, you're anti-woman. I'm not anti-woman. I love women. The only water I drink is sparkling water. The sparkling water is for rich 